Today we play with a vibrating toy. Broom. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Some toys stick around forever, like the ball, or the stick for that matter. But why do other cool toys get pulled from the shelves before they have the chance to become the next ball or stick? I don't think anybody would consider a stick a cool toy. I had plenty of fun with my stick as a kid. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're about to re-examine toys uh, from the past to see if any of them deserve a second chance in a toy chest. It's time for To Be Discontinued More 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 Products Edition. In order to prove that Barbie is no different than the rest of us, in 2006, Mattel updated her dimensions. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Uh, that's incorrect. They just made her clean up dog doo-doo. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the Barbie and Tanner playset. Let's see it in action. Okay. Oh, cartoon. Oh, and then the real thing. Stop motion. Oh, that dog is hungry. And, then, and you know what happens when a dog gets hungry. That dog's got an enormous head. Potty training, what? Oh, we've got, we well, you know what? We've got Barbie and Tanner right here, a yeah. special guest. Wake up, Barbie. Hur, hur, hur. And here's, here's Tanner, he's hungry. And of course, hungry. of course, Malibu Barbie would Name her dog Tanner. Look at a, what kind of name is Tanner? Oh, that, should, that should be her boyfriend, not her dog. Tanner, dude. he's tan. All right, we paid $40 for this on eBay. Uh, it was recalled in 2017 because of the magnetic parts. But first, let's play with it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so, oh, Tanner, what's 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 up? You feeling a little antsy? What's what's happening? You got a, do you have a, do you have a little issue here? Oh, oh my gosh. When you push down on the tail. Tanner's been eating fiber. Plenty of it. I then, love it. And then it, see that? It, it, it craps, but then Tanner turns his head when he craps. Doesn't Your dog doesn't do that? No. That's how I know when Barbara's letting one out. She's like. Jade, Jade. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta train him. I, I also do that. So then, so then you take it and you. Well, once you start turning your head when you crap, you just can't stop. You step, step on this, Barbie. And then you drop, you drop in there. A little shake a do. Shake a doo doo. What? What do you? How I do don't you, know how you. Oh, you push, push on oh. that thing. Oh, oh he <laughs> missed. There we go. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push on that. Okay, you push <laughs> on that, and then here, put it, than we made it. If you put a few more poops in there, and then on this side, you magically yep. remove mm -hmm. the box of food. And then what do you do? Right, you put, you put his poop right back in his food bowl. Tanner eats his own crap. It, forever and ever and ever. They didn't show it that way in the uh, commercial, but that's exactly what happens. You throw away the crap and it fills up the the, the dog food box. Well, that kind of is the life cycle of poop in and some then, ways. Ah, he's We're hungry. kind of shortening it. Hey, I eat my own crap. <laughs> and my, so what? And, and Barbara encourages it. <laughs> she yeah. loves it. Do a dog eat his own poop? Uh, I think they will, won't they? I mean, dogs will eat well, somebody else. Tanner does, and I think that I just don't. I think this might teach the wrong thing, because it's almost like if you're oh, a kid, you stepped in dog crap. If you're a kid in the bowl. If you're a kid and you've got a Barbie and Tanner playset, and you were thinking, I don't. I sometimes I get unsure about whether or not my dog should be eating his own poop. You get this Barbie and Tanner playset, and you're like, oh yeah, just say okay. This is confirmed. Yes, dogs eat their own poop. I, I, you know, kids are so impressionable. Can we, get, can we get a nice butthole shot for the impressionable kids here? It would really help. Barbie would look more comfortable if she had articulating knees at this point. Now, the reason why this was recalled is because magnets found by young children can be swallowed or aspirated, and the small magnet inside the scooper could come loose. If one magnet was swallowed, that's bad news. But if two mm. magnets were swallowed, they, get they could together. attract to each other and cause intestinal perforation or blockage, which can be fatal, but also a lot of fun. It kind of tickles. Oh gosh, it's horrible, man. Well, you know what happens? Never it, swallow two you sides swallow of a magnet. Swallow them at two different times, and then it it's in different places in your intestine, and then it brings your two intestines together. It's, it's, Did it, that actually happen? Yes, it happens. It's horrible. So it seems like if we wanted to bring this thing back, we would be pretty cruel. Maybe we could bring back the non-magnetic part. 
Yeah, because that's just the picker-upper But I think the part. fact that it, I, I, there's got to be some way that you can feed it uh, food and then have poop come out and then sort of reload. I don't give a crap. Actually, I do. Ha, ha, ha. All right, okay. Barbara and Tanner play shit. Nah, nah that's, that's whack. whack. Millennials everywhere went nuts for Harry Potter over two decades ago, but in 2001, Mattel created a vibrating broomstick that ended up doing things to the nuts of Harry Potter fans everywhere. This is the Harry Potter Nimbus 2000 Quidditch broomstick. And it, yep. We paid two, uh, 150 bucks for this sucker. We did? Yeah, it was originally sold for, it too for hard. 20 bucks. But it actually, um, it was discontinued because it ended up in adult toy shops. Let's find out why. So, turn it back turn on. Back on here. Oh, yeah. Get on there. And then I think you just. And if you. Don't poke me in the eye with it now. Oh, hey. So I think you just kind of just get it in there. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! How do you? Shake and it. I think yeah, you can definitely. I mean, you can definitely clean with it. I mean, is it got a? Can it go higher? Can it get stronger? Oh, you want it? You want it? I mean, it's. I mean, it. Why does it vibrate? That's the question. What? I mean, well, you're using it. Can't you, you tell? I mean, was it supposed to feel like I'm flying? Can I? Like, can it's, I, a, like it's a shaky day. Can, is there room for two on that? Yeah, thing? right there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, uh, what? You, whoa! whoa. <laughs> hands free. Go hands free. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked. Now, uh, how, how does it feel though? Uh, it, 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 it's it's relaxing. It's uh, I've never had that much fun in a broom closet before. I'll tell you. <laughs> That, I mean, this is this has got I lots just, of potential. I just don't, there's so so many things about it that I don't understand. Does that sound happen in the movie? Now, I already, does it? I don't know, I don't, I, I it really I've should, never been into Harry Potter. It and, really uh, should just say schwing, instead of making that uh, particular noise. Is it a functional broom? Is that what you're learning right now? Right, that's what matters to me. I don't, I don't really think that, as much as I love to clean, and it seems like I would love it even more with this, I don't know. Man. I just think there are some things that kids are gonna find out on their own. You don't need to necessarily encourage it. You know, I don't think you need to. I just don't think you need to. What? How to clean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kids are gonna learn how to clean. Don't don't buy kids a broom. Let them buy their own brooms and figure out how to clean on their own. Yeah, I I I, I think that the vibration is 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 trying a little too hard here. Well, you know, it could try a little harder personally. It, so how I feel about it. Oh, oh, but uh. He's saying it doesn't vibrate hard enough. Yeah. I'm saying it doesn't add up as to why that's happening. Okay, so the Nimbus 2000 Quidditch broomstick. Nah, mm, that's, that's whack. whack. Some baby dolls can pee themselves. Mm. Some can chew a toddler's finger off. But this one apparently does somersaults. I'm already disappointed. This I mean, surprise me. Baby tumbles surprise. Yeah, what is the surprise It here? came out in 1995. Well, I think it does a somersault. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, okay. What, what is that, yoga? The head is super, this head Stand is super her up, stand her up. For, oh! Bring her this way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is it, is this teaching kids how to drop babies on their head? No, yeah. Let's see if sissy can do a flip. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is visceral. I mean, yeah, how do you- It's hard to watch. But no, it's I, the the thing I like is the slow one. That's just like you just kind of nodding off, falling asleep. Like. <laughs> that's great, man. <laughs> it's like, oh baby, you so sleepy. How do they market this thing? Is there a commercial? I think there is. Does she? You do that? Okay. They're all on carpet. Separately. Well, here's the thing. Baby Tumble is surprised. The surprise is she doesn't use her hands when she does a somersault. <laughs> if you're a normal kid, you should be using your hands. She tumbles just like me. <laughs> and you know what? We got we got these for twenty dollars uh, each. So we. Uh, <laughs> That's why we got six of them. Yeah. Now let's see if we can do a coordinated. I'm gonna see if I can oh. get three of them going at the same time. Three, two, one. 
Wow, that, there's something so satisfying about that. Yeah, I I mean, I definitely like... Grab the triplets! I want to have fun with them! <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm liking it. And what happens, I mean, what happens when they fall back? <laughs> it's just like, hey, that's, that's no fun. No, 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 go harder. There we go. What about to the side? Let's try sideways. Oh, okay. The si sideways. If you give it, if you give it, go, give it a little flip. That was different. That's a, that's baby handstand surprise. Oh, baby handstand yeah, surprise. Yeah, just came with it. Okay, not we just got a, one of those. It's not just a new outfit, y'all. Whoa! Hold on. Okay, put baby, see if you can get baby Whoop. handstand to do a handstand right here, and then I'll get baby tumbles okay. to knock her over. Up. Oh. It was better when you just went like this. She just. Let me try. Well, how do you get her to do, how do you get her to do a handstand? You just gotta. You okay. got a placer. Okay, here, here. here we go. Okay. Okay. What what, what are you trying to do here? What happens if two go in at the same time? <laughs> I mean, I can tell you right now. This is so hard to watch. This is oh. fun. This is fun for the whole family. This is too much fun with babies, man. Listen, this I don't, baby, this baby I don't like, heavy. I don't like newborn babies because I'm afraid I'm going to hurt them. And this is, I mean, this is only confirming that. You just give this baby with this, and that's the thing. You like support the head, support the head. If you don't support baby uh, uh, Tumble's head, this is what happens. It just, it just, look, look at that. And then if you, if you let her fall off the, fall out of your hands, it's worst case scenario. Well, that's quite a thud. But you know what? I'm having a lot of fun. I know. I, I really like this. I mean, it really is a lot of fun. And I'm learning so much. Baby Tumble surprise! Bring it back! All right, now it's time for the mystery round. But first, we want to remind you this week on Inside Eats, which is our television show on Food Network and Discovery Plus, we visit the Cheesecake Factory and we try to figure out how their menu is so big. Mm -hmm. And we do that by ordering everything on the menu. And we also learn how to make some of the stuff ourselves, so. Voila, le pomme frais. You don't have to speak French in the bakery. I don't even know if I did. <laughs> PJ was putting us through a master class of final touchery, pushing the limits of both our fine motor skills. So next we're gonna lightly roll it across the surface of the glaze. And our ability to follow very simple directions. I, That's uh, a lot. Can I? I can help. Oh gosh, I mean. I, I wanna learn. You need to get that? I could get it. Did I go too hard? No, that's. It's too deep, it's sinking. I just broke the surface of the glaze. Oh gosh. Uh, that's too much. Now I don't know. <laughs> what, what is this, a business? I just feel <laughs> like I, somebody's gotta get that call. <laughs> Be sure to watch the all new episode of Inside Eats with Rhett and Link, that's us, this Sunday, 10.30 p.m. on Food Network. And for even more bonus footage, slightly longer episode with some extra scenes, check it out on Discovery Plus. Bonus footage? Yeah. Mm hmm 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 All right. Beneath this cloche, we have something that we know not what it is or what it does. But we're gonna figure it out just by playing with it. Yeah, you can open Wait. the clothes. Oh! oh. oh. Did, it, did it have a... Well, it was stuck. Did it have a suction thing? It was happened? It was suctioned. Oh, yeah, man. I pulled it so fast that it came up with it. Okay, I'll take it. All right. I think I like pulled out my neck as I reacted to you doing that. My, my copy says, without touching it, please guess what it is. Oh. But now we're in this situation. I will tell you. I touched it a little. It is. Um, I touched it too. I felt it. I felt the consistency of it. It's a toy I'm from on Food Network. 1966. What do you think it does? Well, this is from 1966? Yeah. The end looks like a mad ball. You remember mad balls? You were scared of them. I had them. Were they squishy or were they hard? They were the squishy mad balls. They were balls that had crazy faces on them it and stuff. Kinda, I, that's the kind of thing I loved as a kid. It was kind of like garbage pail kids but brought it into ball. the world of balls. It was a baseball. It started as like a baseball with like crazy eyes on it and stuff. Yeah. This has a mad ball. Don't no, touch it. I've already touched it. That's a mad ball type face. It's upside down, see? I mean, I think we can touch it. Can we? Yeah, at this point, touch it a lot. We're gonna and then this is hard. 
and not bouncy. It's oh wood. Oh my gosh! Is this is this is this an actual thing or a recreation of it? It's a recreation. Lucas, oh you, so you recreated this thing? Yeah, yeah, I recreated it. You just got talent laying around. You know, just scoop it up, man. Oh yeah, okay. Look so at that. I think it's a two man game. So you take that, you take the guy, and I well, take you, this. Well, hold on, you got the hard end, and we try and we try to make it hit each other. <laughs> not hard, not hard. Just it's like you're you're trying not. No, I think we try to, make... to catch the other one. Oh gosh, okay. Let me back up a little bit. One, two. <laughs> hey, we're, when we go to do this, it's gonna be awesome. One, two, three. Oh, okay, see, yeah, I caught yeah, it. Yeah, 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 here we go. One, two, three. It's easier to catch but the big one. I think this thing, it just, it just. I mean, you could kill somebody with this. This is like a ball and chain, especially oh, this. You thing. know what it is? Put that in your mouth. It's that thing. Uh, put like, your put your foot like on the a desk. ball gag. Put your foot up on the desk, just so people can see it. Put my foot up on the desk. Like like it's like you're standing on the desk. Like I'm standing on the desk. Yeah, yeah. And you throw. It's like the thing that Robin has, in the Batman. Oh. And you, kind of just like. So you wanna you wanna battering my leg like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. Let me battering your arm. Oh, See, you got me. Here. Oh, <laughs> whoa, you got me. Here, 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 here. Whoa, you got me. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it definitely hit me yeah, in the eye. Right. Robin can do it better than that. All right, you guys are so close, but uh, let's check out this commercial to see what you're actually supposed to do. So get a can of Nutty Notter today. Zip Nutty Notter? Amaze your friends and surprise yourself by tying knots like this. How did he do that? What? So watch as we expose in slow motion the magic behind the Nutty Notter knot. See why everybody what? is doing Nutty Notter. That, like this well, that guy's parachuting? Are doing nutty -nut -nut -nuts like the Surfer Special. No, he's and not. How many nutty knots they can knot on their nutty nutters? Why are they nutty knots? So join nutty nutters all over America. Get yours today. What? How do you make a nutty knot? Nutty knot. You want to go? I think what you do is <laughs> you got to be on a surfboard. You. You make a. Lucas just did it over there. I hate to say he just. Com he completely did it on the first try. No, okay. Yeah. Whoa! That's a knot. Look at that. Now do it again. Keep tying knots. I tried that. I think you can only do it one time because of physics. You're making a and hole and then shooting it, it and through. hitting it right there. Oh, you're yeah. doing this. You're lassoing then... it right there and then it's like nutty nutter. Yeah. Did you see what we did with it? Yeah, you guys threw it. That was pretty it nutty face too. For a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the type of thing that happens on a show that where lots of stuff is edited out. I think you just gotta do it. It's just one of those things like you just start mashing buttons in a video game. You don't really know what you're doing. Yeah. This Are isn't you, fun you to you. You guys done yet? This isn't fun to you. Don't make. Oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, hey, I knew exactly what I was gonna hit. Like, if I wanted to hit right there no, on that uh, thing first. No. <laughs> the Nutty Nutter. Nah, that's whack. Oh, come no, on. man, come on. I already got hit in the face. Maybe Baby Tumbles can do it. Yeah, all right, so we like the Baby Tumbles. Let's, let, nope. Let's see that in action again, just so you'll. And on a high note. Look, I did notice she will sometimes just stay right on her head. All right. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. <laughs> you know what time it is. Hi, Rhett and Link. My name's Marina. I'm from Yorba Linda, California, and I'm at the DMV to finally change my name after two years of marriage. I'm wearing my discontinued mythical tee for my new license picture, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Never Represent. Seen, never seen somebody so happy to be in the DMV. Find <laughs> the top link to watch us rank the 10 most annoying toys in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Be sure to watch the all new episode of Inside Eats with Rhett and Link this Sunday at 10.30 p.m. on Food Network. And for even more bonus footage, check it out on Discovery Plus.